हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम संजय गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ जावा बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आई वांट टू शेयर सम इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू क्लियरली व्यू दिस वीडियो यू कैन इंप्रूव द पिक्सेल क्वालिटी बाय गोइंग इनटू द सेटिंग ऑप्शन दीज आर माई इन्फॉर्मेशन यू कैन फॉलो दीज इन्फॉर्मेशन फॉर योर स्टडी एंड प्लेसमेंट पर्पजेस नाउ कमिंग ऑन टू द जावा first we have to discuss about what is java so java is a programming language and a platform java is a high level robust secured and object oriented programming language now what is platform uh, because uh, you all uh, know about the programming language so programming uh, languages uh, are the languages through which we can uh, develop any software so uh, here uh, platform is particularly defined for you Uh, any hardware or software environment in which a program runs is known as platform so platform is a combination of hardware and software so since java has its own runtime environment which is called jre uh, full form is java runtime environment and api api means application programmer interface you can uh, imagine api uh, the uh, apis are Uh, some predefined codes which you can directly use for your programming purpose so uh, it is called platform so java has its uh, own uh, jre and api that's why it is called a platform now where it is used uh, it is very important to know uh, where we can uh, apply the java programming language so according to sun 3 billion devices run java these uh, there are many devices where java is currently used so for your information uh, right now uh, oracle has uh, the rights of java uh, earlier it was uh, with sun so that's why i have used uh, sun uh, here sun is a company which developed java programming language so some of them are as follows desktop applications web application enterprise applications mobile embedded systems smart card robotics games uh, these are the devices or platform where we can apply the code which is written in java so after understanding the use of java we have to understand the type of java applications it means how many types of applications we can implement with the help of java programming language so in uh, the list first is stand alone applications so it is also known as desktop application or window based application an application that we need to install on every machine such as media player antivirus etc so you can also uh, imagine that the application which doesn't require internet connectivity is known as stand alone application the easy example is uh, a paint brush notepad calculator these all are stand alone applications awt and sphinx are used to used in java for creating stand alone applications uh, second one is web application an application that runs on the server side and creates dynamic pages is called web application currently servlets jsp struts jsf etc these technologies are used for creating web applications in java third one is enterprise application an application that is distributed in nature such as banking application it has the advantage of high level security load balancing and clustering in java ejb is used for creating enterprise applications so this is the advanced version of java so uh, you can say stand alone application is core java web application and enterprise application becomes advanced java uh, for your learning purposes then fourth one is mobile application which is latest uh, you all uh, might have used android mobile phones so an application that is created for mobile devices currently android and java me are used for creating mobile applications so if you uh, want to uh, build your career in the field of java then you have three options you can learn core java for standard stand alone application development you can learn advanced java for web application or enterprise application development and you can learn android or java me for mobile application development uh, this is the version history of uh, java so uh, you can easily read out the uh, version name and the 
uh, year in which uh, the version has uh, launched so this is very important and you have to learn the latest version of the java which is java se 8 now the important one is creation of java the original purpose of uh, the creation of java was not the internet the primary motivation was the need for a platform independent language that could be used to create software to be embedded in various consumer electronic devices such as microwave ovens and remote controls so uh, platform independent means uh, the uh, code which we develop on a particular system can be executed on any other system so this nature is known as platform independent nature so the primary motivation for creation of java, java was platform independent language uh, trouble with C and C++ and most other languages is that they are designed to compile for a specific target. Although it is possible to compile a C++ program for just about any type of CPU, to do so requires a full C++ compiler targeted for that, for that CPU. The problem is that compilers are expensive and time consuming to create an easier and more cost effective solution was needed so these are the problems uh, uh, which uh, motivated uh, uh, developers to uh, create a language uh, which uh, which was java so gosling and other began work on a portable platform independent language that could be used to produce code that would run on a variety of cpus under different environment this effort ultimately led to the creation of java so in this slide i have mentioned the problems which you have faced in c and c++ and the solution of that problem uh, was ultimately uh, created java so james gosling uh, and uh, his team uh, implemented or created java programming language so i hope you have understood the basic idea of java why we use Java, uh, what type of application we can implement with the help of Java and what was the basic idea behind the creation of Java. So these are my information. You can use these information for your study and placement purposes. Thank you for watching this video.